All right, so let's get started with the craft. The craft we're going to make today is a shaker. And you can make this shaker with all the supplies that you have at home. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the craft we're going to make today is this shaker. And you can make this craft with supplies you have at home. Um, some of the supplies you're going to need are a toilet paper tube, some colorful paper for the uh, outside of the tube, and then um, another contrasting paper. I'm just using a paper bag here. I cut out two squares from a paper bag for the ends of the tube. You're also going to need two rubber bands, some yarn, and some dried beans or rice for the inside of the tube. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to wrap this um, paper around the outside of the tube. I'm going to just line it up. We want to make it pretty close to the size of the tube, so I'm just going to line it up with the edge of the paper and make a mark, and then make a straight line with the ruler. And go ahead and cut along the line. Okay, so it probably doesn't need to be this long. So let's just make sure that it just goes around the tube. It can go a little, just wanna make sure it's not too short, but it doesn't need to be quite that long. So we'll go ahead and cut off. That's good. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue, glue the paper onto the tube. We're gonna put some glue on this end and line it up to get it started. And there we go. It's the cover for the outside of the shaker. So now we have room to decorate. And you can decorate any way you want. You could put stickers on there, you could use crayons, you could use markers. I have some markers here. So I think I'm going to do the same thing I did on my other one. I'm going to make some, some spirals. top and the bottom on and fill the shaker. So I'm going to take my two squares. They're about three inch, three and a half, four inch squares. They don't have to be perfect squares. They just need to um, cover, make sure they cover the top of the tube with a little bit of extra room. And I think I'm going to cut the corners off just to make it a little rounder. You don't have to do this, but um, it actually um, shows more of the decorations on the tube if you do that. So go ahead and cover the center tube. You just put it on top and kind of fold it down and crease it and then put the rubber band over it to secure it. And now we're ready to fill, fill it with the beans. So this is, you don't need a lot of beans or rice, just this is probably a good tablespoon and that's probably enough. Okay, there we go. 
Now we're ready to put the top of the shaker on and let's go ahead and cut the corners on this piece too. Just kind of center it over the top of the tube and fold it down and put the rubber band on the end. And there we go. We have a shaker. And there's one more thing we're going to do, and we're going to add some yarn. You don't have to do this part, but um, if you want to decorate it a little bit more and you have some yarn at home, you could put some yarn around the ends here. The best way to do this is you can start, you want to leave a little tail um, on the end so that you can tie it, and then just start wrapping the yarn around the end of the tube. That's probably good. And go ahead and tie it. You can cut off the ends. And you can do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to leave a little, little tail so we can tie and then just wrap the yarn around. And there you have your shaker. There are also um, some different ways that you can make them. I made a couple of uh, extra ones here. Um, this one, instead of putting paper on the outside of the shaker on the tube, I painted it. I used some acrylic paint, I painted it blue. And then when the blue paint dried, I put some yellow polka dots with paint on, on the outside. And then I also had some purple tape and I put that around the edges here. Another one you can make if you have some stickers at home is you can just cover the outside of your shaker with a bunch of stickers. This one was very quick and easy to make. Um, and this one I didn't cover up the rubber bands, I just left the rubber bands and I used colorful paper for the ends too. So there's some ideas for some shakers you can make at home. Um, I hope you enjoyed the craft this week, and we hope to see you next week. Thanks. Bye-bye.